Buenos dias! Good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. In today's video, a few really, really cool Bitcoin charts that will show you 50k or not 50k very soon. Of course, also looking at the Bam Bam indicator and the profits we had with trading yesterday. Talking about the blockchain news that I read this morning during my coffee. Talking about the crypto city that the people want to build in the Nevada desert. Talking about DeFi changing into Pre-Fi. Pre-Fi? Pri-Fi. Yeah, I think DeFi changing into Pri-Fi. And yes, talking about the Bitcoin family, the small one, we five, but also the big one, because we are now evolving into the huge Bitcoin family. And we have some news to share with all of you there. And all of this, guys, in a very short video, at least I will try to make short videos this week, as we are in an area with not that good Wi-Fi, so the uploading will take me hours and hours. So I need to try to focus on creating videos around 12 minutes this week. And that's also very good for when we leave to Mexico, because in Mexico, I don't think the internet is good as well, so the uploading will take me hours there as well, so probably... It's a good training now here in Spain to make 12 minute videos and hopefully I can continue making those 12 minute videos in Mexico because I saw pictures and videos of such beautiful places that will be difficult for me to not make long videos. And again, talking too much, enjoy today's complete video with cool information about Bitcoin, the charts and the news. BAM! First things first, let's start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I will bomb you with really cool charts. This part, BAM! Like you can see on this chart, BAM! In the last week, on the 4 hour chart, you can see that we tried to break 50k two times. Every time we didn't succeed, the highest point we reached was I think 49,926. So that's $75 short to reach 50k. Um, the question now is, are we going to break this 50k level? Because now again, we are around 37,600 ish moving in that area. It is a very difficult break. We have problems with breaking this 50k level, but, why, but I believe when we do break it, we will bam to 54. 4,000 US dollar. But we need to fight this resistance and that is why we drop back now to 47,600 to collect some more people that will buy Bitcoin and then we will make one huge BAM green candle all the way up to 50k and even higher than 50k. At least that is what I expect from this week. And yes guys, I know that last week was the largest weekly candle ever in history of Bitcoin. You can see this on this chart. Bam! That is the closing candle of last week. And yes, the candle of this week now. Last week's candle, the close was $9,300 higher than the opening. That's a 25% increase of the bitcoin price in one week candle this is the largest weekly candle ever if we even calculate the whole candle with including the wicks then we had a 15k candle in total opening at 34,000 US dollar and a high of 49,000 almost 50,000 US dollars so that's a 15k candle that was there including the wicks excluding the wicks just a 9k candle just a 9k candle <laughs> which asset shows you a 9k candle in a week bitcoin bam and why do i believe that um, we are heading for 50k because of these two next charts because i think 50k should be broken and yes we will go to 60k 70k and yes we will say 100k in my opinion as a normal dude walking the globe beautiful with his family not dynamic not being a financial advisor whatsoever but why because i saw these two charts and these two charts make me very happy long time <laughs> this is the first one BAM! This chart is telling us, BAM! We are going to 274,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in the end of this year. And why is this chart telling us that? Because they are comparing the move in August 2017 now to the move that we are seeing today. If you put those charts next to each other like this, BAM! Then you can see, indeed, 
we are almost copying that move in August 2017. We all know what happened after that move in August 2017. Can you remember what happened from August to December in 2017? Does anybody know? <laughs> Please comment down below. Yes, of course, that is what happened. Yes, we flew to this all-time high of 20K that nobody expected from August to December. And it was from 3K or something to BAM 20K. I think in total it was a 4 to 500% run in August to December. Now we can see the same move happening. Look at the chart. People were doubting at that moment as well. People in 2070 were like, ah, 3K or 4K, we will not go to 5K. Ah, no, we will not go to 10K. That's unbelievable. We can't double again. We already doubled from a few hundred dollars all the way to 3K. We can't, we can't double again. And then BAM, 500%, 20K. Now we can see the same move. So what can we do? Yeah, maybe we can't, but there is a chance that we would copy the 2017 bull run and that would mean 400% from here, BAM, all the way to 277,000 US dollar without anybody expecting this, at least almost anybody, all lady guys, you know, that draw these charts, that calculate these numbers and people like me that believe those numbers. So let's see, 274K, BAM, here we come. And the only thing which is different this time or maybe an indication that we didn't start a bull run yet is this chart very interesting chart let's take a look bam onto this chart this chart shows the minor outflows and on this chart you can, can see these red squares it's not a square did it's like a recht hook so you <laughs> you can see these red lines <laughs> recht hook we call it in holland i <laughs> sometimes i don't find the english name sorry the english words for these things uh, not a triangle not a circle not a square but that other thing <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the red lines and you can see the minor outflows on these fingerprints that's that's called a fingerprint on the chart and you can see these minor outflows just before this huge bull run and these minor outflows they are identical every time before the bull run every time for before this huge acceleration in the boat bull run we see these minor outflows like you can see in 2013 just before in 2017 just before you can see there's a little bit thick bluish more outflow from the miners to cold storage this we didn't see yet till now look at the chart look at today it's just like thin bluish area we don't see this huge thick blue area yet where the miners outflow is tremendously so are we even up front of this huge bull run or do we still need to form this thick blue area that we did that we formed before 2017 and 2013 or are we slowly going up and up and up and higher and higher because all these billionaires now step into the market you know we don't know but we can see on the chart that this move is a little bit different than 2013, than 2017, because we don't see these huge amounts of outflows from the miners. So that is a difference. But let me know what you think. What do you think? Should we be forming the thick blue area, outflows of the miners? Or do you think that is not needed at the moment anymore? Let me know down below in the comments. Really cool to hear your opinion and to have you educating me now. Bam! And talking about BAM, yeah, too many BAMs, I know. <laughs> Let's take a look at the profits we made with the BAM BAM indicator yesterday on Sunday on this chart. BAM! You can see, guys, that we traded with 500 US dollar. We were almost at $50,000 per Bitcoin. 1% is 500 US dollar. We traded with a leverage of 10, and I only did two trades in the afternoon because in the morning I was doing the live and all that stuff. At the moment, a little bit busy in life, but I will tell more about that at the end. But we did two trades. First trade was a short with 2.3% profit with a leverage of 10, 23% profit, and we turned 500 US dollar into 615 US dollar. Then the second trade was a long, long with 0.88% profit, which times a leverage of 10 is 8% profit. So we ended up at 670 US dollar. Starting with 500 US dollar, ending up with 670 US dollar is a, is a profit on Sunday afternoon of 170 US dollar.
And yes, just reading the bam bam indicator signals, and yes, just uh, using a leverage of 10, creating these amounts of profits. Of course, you can trade with smaller amounts or bigger amounts, whatever you prefer, guys. But we always trade with around 1% of the Bitcoin price. Of course, we do this also just to keep it simple so that you can see how it would work if you trade with 1% of the Bitcoin price, 500 US dollar. And you know, if your complete portfolio is 500 US dollar, then those trade with 500 US dollar and if your complete portfolio for example is thousand US dollar then 10% would be $100 5% would be around $50 you know if your portfolio is 10,000 US dollar then 10% would be thousand dollar and 5% would be $500 so yes normally I think it's healthy to only trade with 5% of your total portfolio we trade with 1% of the Bitcoin price just for the calculations uh, and, and because our portfolio is bigger than 10,000 US dollar. Let's be honest on that. Um, but if your portfolio is smaller than 10,000 US dollar, I would not trade with 500 US dollar. You know, I would then trade with 5% of your portfolio each trade maximum. So that is my advice. Try to trade 5% of your portfolio maximum. So then you can, if even if you lose like 20 times in a row, <laughs> then you lose 100%. But losing 20 times in a row by using the Bam Bam indicator or the TikTok indicator is, in my opinion, almost impossible. You cannot lose 20 times in a row if you read the indicators and just close your emotions, take the indicators for granted and buy when they tell you to buy and sell when they sell you to sell. You will not lose 20 times in a row. You will be winning more than you will be losing. So that is why maybe it's very important for you to understand that you trade with maximum 5% of your portfolio instead of the 1% of the Bitcoin price because our portfolio is maybe bigger than your portfolio. Hope that one is now a little bit more clear. Let's jump now into the blockchain news part, the part where I'll talk to you about the news. Bam! First news article I read this morning was about Blockchain LLC. I think it's a, some kind of a blockchain organization that wants to build a Bitcoin blockchain city in the desert of Nevada. That is real cool because, you know, we are doing the same. We are contributing to building this in Thailand on Kopangan, houseofdao.io. We are building the same in Bulgaria, near Sofia, blockchainvalley.io. Part of all these projects because I want to contribute to building them so I can live there as well as a family. And yes, we are also going to build this in Portugal. We are already talking to two teams. One team is going to help us with all the housing. The other team is going to help us with the land. And then, of course, we are going to make it feel like a Bitcoin blockchain valley in Portugal where of course we will attract people to live in and to invest in that want to uh, not pay taxes on their Bitcoins because Portugal of course is a beautiful tax haven for Bitcoiners zero 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 percent tax on Bitcoins so that is why we need to build these kinds of Bitcoin blockchain valley in Portugal as well so we can help you cashing out all your Bitcoin profits during this bull run in Portugal without paying taxes which is really cool oh by the way the blockchain LLC company they already bought the land I think they bought 67,000 acres already in 2018 so yes it's very serious what they are going to start to build and of course if they start to build or go open i will visit it with my family the bitcoin family maybe even with more huge bitcoin family members because we are growing tremendously as the bitcoin family the next news article that i read this morning i need to keep it short did 12 minutes come on man keep focused um I need to keep it short, but uh, the next article was about DeFi. Is DeFi now slowly turning into PriFi? Decentralized finance into privacy finance. I read this article about that PriFi should be the new 2021 like hype. I didn't do complete research yet, but I saw indeed, indeed in this article that there will be platforms that will be maintaining your privacy in this new financial world. So like DeFi, but then like with the privacy features. So let's see how this will evolve in 2021. But then you know already that there is something like PriFi. So we have DeFi, it's going to PriFi, and I'm keeping my eye on PriFi because I love privacy. 
Damn. The last news, guys, is about the Bitcoin family. Yes, we as a small five-headed family, we are leaving for Mexico this week. Yes, we are flying there. We are going to Cancun, I think Playa del Carmen or Tulum. We don't know yet. If you have any advice of this area there, like, did he go to Cancun because that is perfect for your family? Or did he go to Playa del Carmen because your kids love shopping at McDonald's? Or did he, or did he go to Tulum because that is like the heaven for backpacking vibe and all that stuff? Please let me know down below in the comments if you get any advice or a hotel or apartments or maybe you even have a friend that owns a house that wants to rent a house for bitcoins whatever just leave down below a comment to help us with this because i'm going there to create kick-ass media with a lot of kick-ass bitcoin influencers on a kick-ass beautiful place with white sand beaches palm trees like maya culture tacos and all that stuff and yes of course that will be very fun for me to make some cool new content there for you because that is what we do and yes in mexico i will will go and look for an NGO or poor people or an orphanage or whatever that we can help with that fund that we have been filling up because you guys out there, because you, the huge Bitcoin family out there, has been using our referral links. And these referral links have been slowly putting Bitcoins into our fund that we can now use to help poor people all over the world. And that is something that we, of course, also will do in those six weeks, maybe eight weeks, maybe forever. In Mexico, we don't know yet how long we are going to stay. One thing is for sure, I don't know how long we will stay, but we will leave our Bitcoin family fingerprint there as well by helping some people there in need. So let me know down below in the comments if you know a place where we can sleep, if you know the place where we should to be, or if you know a place that we can help out. Your help is deeply, deeply, deeply Bitcoin family appreciated. Thank you already for that. Damn! Damn! Some short notice about the huge Bitcoin family because I can see already filming 18 minutes, 12 minutes, not reachable for me. Fuck it! Um, yes, the Bitcoin family is growing. 2,600 members. We are growing really fast. I didn't expect this huge growth in like two months time. That is why we are restructuring the whole Discord channel. The mods are doing that. Thank you so much to the mods for all that help that they are giving me. We are also picking up all the VIP advantages again because we lost track of it because of all the busy time but yes there will be tales of the crypto again daily there will be charts analyzed daily there will be a lot of advantages of being a vip and we will reintroduce this now again my apologies for the unstructured behavior of the last two weeks in the group i had a lot on my mind i need to prepare the family for traveling and all that stuff uh, and the back end working talking to exchanges there's many things going on that you can't see on discord or on my online appearance but believe me i'm working very hard day in day out to make this bitcoin family bigger and bigger and better and rougher and tougher and stronger we will be the biggest bitcoin family there is in the world and yes we will leave a fingerprint in what we do to help all people in the world not just helping ourselves yes that is also very important we do help ourselves by using our products but the biggest win 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 situation we create as the bitcoin family is that we also help poor people all over the world that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video today i hope i had it below 12 minutes but i don't think i succeeded but if you did like the video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment and always remember to zoom out in bitcoin and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching hopefully see you tomorrow again and hopefully tomorrow i will succeed in a 12 minute video thanks bam